Welcome to another episode of Wonders of the World Wide Web, the show where the future is today, and today is the future. In this episode, we are going to talk about privacy. But what is privacy? When we look up this word in the dictionary, we discover that it is a complicated noun. Privacy. Also, privacy. Noun. Plural. Privacy. Something we don't have in the future. There will be two kinds of privacy violations in the future. A good one and a bad one. The good one is a privacy violation by software. Do you hate it when you are reading a magazine and only see advertisements that don't meet your interests? In the future, you won't have this problem anymore. While you are typing a letter, the software analyzes your input. Then personalized advertisements will show up. We don't know how expensive this advertisement service will be, but according to our editorial team, it will be cheaper than $4 a month. In the future, all your shopping information will be digitally stored in your money, so the government knows how much toilet paper you use. Coins will be a little bigger in the future. I said coins will be a little bigger in the future. John, show the viewers a digital coin. This kind of privacy violation is relatively harmless and could even help the government analyze the economy. Therefore, we predict that in the future there will never be an economic crisis again. Isn't that wonderful? We also talked about bad kinds of privacy violations in the future. We will give you a couple of examples. In the future, maps are computer screens with a dot that points out where you are. But this could also harm your privacy. Therefore, here's your first privacy tip. Never install a device that knows where you are. In our last show, we talked about digital virtual places you can visit. Sometimes you need to register your website scenes. It's like buying a ticket when you visit the opera. But also, this could harm your privacy. So, here's your second privacy tip for the future. Never use your real name for a website scene you don't trust. Since the movie War Games, we know that there are computer hackers. Yes, computer hackers do exist. If you want to guard your privacy, be sure that your system is safe. Here is another privacy tip for the future. Use computer hacking proof communication devices. Even in the future there are ways to communicate without losing your digital privacy. My assistant John, a Unix programmer, will show you a communication device that is hacking proof. Come on John, don't be shy! In the future there will be brain commercials. Strong magnetic high concentrated signals will be broadcasted into your brain. Do you have a small penis? Use Dr. Charity's pure power pills and grow 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 grow. Therefore, here's another privacy tip for the future. Use an ad blocker for your brain. Thank you for listening, and I hope to meet you again online.